Well, hey guys, so I told you that I was going to do a final review of this after I went and took it fishing down in Corpus. Yeah. Now, granted, uh, I didn't catch anything really big uh, that ended up peeling the drag. But the smoothness, smoothness of the drag, I think, uh, definitely is on par with some other reels. I think it's definitely quality. In fact, I think it's better than some reels that I've used in the past. In fact, I've got a Sage 3250 here. Um, these are pretty expensive reels. They're about, I think now you can get them because they're discontinued a little cheaper, but I think originally they were like 250 bucks. This one's about 125, I think. This one specifically might be a little more 130 or something because it's 7 8. I think the 5 6 is, is like about 125. So about half the cost of this reel, uh, the 3250, the Sage 3250. Both are fully machined. Uh, both are very good reels. I mean, this is a quality reel. It has a good drag. I've never had any issues with uh, uh, fish, uh, you know, with this being too uh, tight. Um, you know, it's very, very smooth. It's a good drag. I'm going to be honest, I think this is a better drag. Um, every time I peeled line off of this, everything I did with this, it was very, very smooth. The other thing about this, this they say is fully sealed, and I think it is. It's sealed. Uh, this is also, they say it's fully sealed, and it definitely is. This thing, man, I used this the entire time when I was down there. I did use this reel, and... Um, but only one day. Uh, the rest of the time I was using my 8 weight because I was casting big mullet patterns, you know. And this thing just got beat up and beat up and beat up. But it just kept ticking. Uh, I mean, it is smooth. You can check it out. It's still spinning. Now it's got line on there, so it's kind of catching. It's not spinning like the day I got it, but that's not because of the reel. It would, except for this line. When it hits, it's... Uh, you know, it's got the line on there, so it's going to end up um, slowing it down. But it definitely has no issues with that. With the drag, um, the drag is still really, really um, smooth. There's no issues with it. It has a really smooth drag. Let's go this way. Just really, really smooth. It comes off there really nice. Um, it is, honestly, I really do think... Out of all the reels I've ever used, this is my favorite for saltwater. Granted, it's not a, uh, you know, $800 Able. Um, there are reels out there that might, might be a little better than this, but you're going to spend a ton more money. Um, I never had an issue with the weight, and in fact, the rod I was using has, it's not the lightest rod, it was this. It was a Lefty Cray Professional Series 2, and it, uh, this is my 8 weight. And, you know, it's got a little bit of uh, um, tip weight to it, uh, casting weight. And this actually kind of helped that because of the weight below it. And so it really did feel a lot, um, a lot easier to cast. So really the weight didn't bother me at all. And it's not that heavy, uh, but it is a little heavier than some other reels out there. But even so, it's well machined, you can see. I, I, I rate, you know... When I did the unboxing on it, I definitely noticed that it was very well uh, uh, machined. Go ahead and check that video out. I'll put a link in the description section if you want to see my initial thoughts on the, the reel. I'm not going to go into great detail about that, uh, but I am going to talk about how it performed on my trip, and that's pretty much it. Obviously, I think it's a beautiful looking reel. It's very nice looking, uh, but this reel really did perform. So, I told you I would dunk this before I left, and I did. I dropped in the salt water on purpose. I just dunked it down really, really quick. Um, and uh, you can see all the salt buildup on the rod. Um, I don't know, maybe you can't, but you can see that there. I can from here. Hopefully the camera's picking it up, but there's definitely some salt buildup. I mean, that is very, very salty water. If it's going to withstand there, it's going to withstand anywhere. Go to the Atlantic, go anywhere in other countries. There is just nothing saltier than the Gulf of Mexico for good fishing. Um, it really does beat up reels. Uh, if it's not a quality reel, you'll notice it right away. 
So I did dunk it and obviously it's still spinning great, it's doing great. You can see salt build up a little bit here. I didn't do really much anything other than after I dunked it, I waited till the very next day. Uh, I, I left early in the morning and then I hosed it off just to, so that way the salt didn't corrode. Um, obviously that's gonna happen, but you know, honestly it didn't. It would have, if it was a, if it was gonna corrode, it would have started already and there's really no place except for looks like right inside the handle knob there looks like it might but that you can un you unscrew um, and then uh, you know you can always uh, that's really easy to clean you just basically unscrew that there's a it's a uh, flat screwdriver basically and uh, you can pop that off clean it out that's fine that's not going to corrode um, you know, it just, it's really, honestly, it, it handled well. You can see all this uh, uh, salt in there. Obviously, I didn't do anything with cleaning it, but it still was standing, still holding up, and doing really well. Um, so, they, I mean, really, in all honesty, guys, I'm going to tell you, for the money, I don't think there's a better reel out there uh, for salt water, really. And honestly, it's really good for fresh water. I mean, this would be a great reel for bass rod or um, pike, uh, even even big trout. If you had like a five six one of these and uh, you were throwing on like a you know streamer reel, I think this would be really good. Granted, it's a heavier spool, so the initial startup is going to be a little heavier. But um, that that's okay, especially for, like I said, if you're streamer fishing, you're using heavier tippet. That doesn't matter as much. In fact, it's better to have a heavier reel uh, because then it's rigid more. Uh, it's, it's just a better all-around reel. The only time you really want those super light reels is if, you know, really light spool is if you're fishing like 6X, a tiny little... Uh, um, midge patterns or something like I do on the San Juan River, uh, then you kind of want a lighter lighter spool because that initial pull rate, uh, pull, pull strength is going to um, basically start up is going to be a little lighter with that, um, especially if you have a good drag. But this drag is awesome. It's very, very smooth. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to test it um, on any big redfish, but um, I, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I fish with many reels. I, I can tell this is going to be very smooth. It's going to handle them very well. I don't see any issues with that. The one thing I was worried about is if that's a fully sealed drag, and obviously it is. That drag is still like the day I got it, and I dunked it in salt water. And I heavily used it. I, had, I fished for three total days, one time on a kayak. And in fact, I dunked it. That was the second time. I, I dunked it twice. I dunked it once on the kayak accidentally. Um, trying to set it down and then it slipped and went in the water. Luckily I grabbed my rod or I would have lost it. Uh, but that, I mean, it literally handled better than I expected. So if you guys are looking for a good saltwater reel or a bass uh, reel or something um, with a very smooth, very uh, good drag, but also nice looking. I mean, I think this is a beautiful reel. Um, and also something with a... Um, Ability for a very very heavy drag. I mean you can crank that down more than you ever need for uh, Freshwater fishing or saltwater or anything. I mean there is no way. I mean I can't even pull that It's so tight so you can really crank that down if you wanted But in general, let's be honest. We're not going to need that something like that Is probably all you're ever going to need for any fish you really don't need it super tight, but you have the ability to crank it down as tight as you want. Um, or loose, I and mean, that's super loose. That comes off and it's almost a free spool. There's almost no drag if you want, but then you can crank it down. Now, one other thing I will notice that, um, that, that I noticed that is good about the reel is sometimes you get some of these cheaper reels, and I don't know what it is, but sometimes that drag will back off of, its, uh, of itself. Um, this will move automatically while you're fishing. I don't know what it is. You never bump it, but over time you end up having to tighten it a little more or whatnot throughout the day. I've had that happen on some cheaper reels and that never happened with this. It literally stayed exactly the same all day long. Um, wherever I had set it, it was good that way. So overall, 
two thumbs up on this reel. I think, guys, you are going to be blown away and very happy with it, especially at the price point. This size, I think, was like 130-something. Um, the 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 five six size, so a little smaller. Um, that one was, uh, I think, like in the 120 range. And then they've got even a small one, a 3.4, that I think is real, real inexpensive. It's like 119 bucks or something. Um, maybe even less, 109 or something. Inex really inexpensive. So great deal for this reel. Um, very smooth. Very, very smooth. The only kind of hang up right there is because of the line, okay? There is a little hang up, but that's the line. You check out my initial review of this reel and you'll see it was very, very smooth uh, before I put the line on. But the line right now is kind of sticking. I kind of overfilled it a little bit. Um, put a lot, too much backing probably. Um, it works out fine when there's, uh, when some of the line is out, which you're fishing, you're gonna have a good nine, nine foot of the line out anyway, so it actually worked out perfect. But um, that, you know, overall, this is a wonderful, wonderful reel. Highly recommend it, guys. Um, oh, by the way, I was using this new line. This is um, Winter Redfish line by Rio. Uh, it's new this year in 2017, and I loved it. I'm going to do a review about that soon, so check that out too. Uh, but um, that... When it comes out, I'll link that in the description section of this video. hasn't It's not going to come out for a little while though, uh, but I will do a review on that. It is excellent, 100% thumbs up on that line as well, and same with the reel. I was very happy with both of them. In fact, I was much more happy with this reel throughout the trip than this double the price Sage. Honestly, I really was. I think it looks nicer. I think it's uh, um, more substantial. I think it's a better reel. Granted, it's a five six size. Uh, this is a little heavy, uh, bigger, uh, but even so, this I think is a much better reel um, and better drag, better everything than my Sage. Um, and I beat it up hard and I was able to test and there was no issues with it whatsoever. I had none. So definitely thumbs up guys. Took the saltwater, the crazy saltwater in the Gulf and it took everything I threw at it. There was no issues. I mean, heck, I dunked it in super salt water, and it's still operating perfectly. So, there's a link in the description section, guys. Go ahead and, if you want to buy this reel, go ahead and please click that uh, that link. That'll take you directly to uh, Amazon, where you can purchase this on Amazon. I definitely recommend purchasing on Amazon, because I don't think you're ever going to want to return this. But if it turns out that you don't like it, um, Amazon gives you a 30-day guarantee. There's no questions asked. You just kind of say, I don't want it. Uh, if it turns out, you don't want it. So definitely use Amazon Plus. You get free shipping on there. And uh, it's just use Amazon. So that link is in the description section down below. Highly recommend this reel. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.